Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and pointers on becoming a good UI designer or a better UI designer. And I'm going to share some tips and tricks that I use to design different elements of a website, a web application, whatnot. Uh, when I say UI designer, UI designer is basically a user interface designer, someone um, this is a more specific term similar to web web design is more general UI design UI designer is someone more specific someone capable of designing web applications um, you know web forms and just different things like this um, let me show you some other stuff you know like um, you know different different elements uh, of a site like this um, different types of layouts. Um, so a UI designer is someone who's who's capable of, of designing interfaces. Uh, in most cases, web apps, um, but uh, in general, just clean interfaces and different widgets and things like that. Now, um, when you're designing a when you're designing um, different sections of a website, whether it's a navigation bar, whether it's a footer. Um, the thing that I like to, to keep in mind is that I never try to design something on my own. Like I never open up Fireworks or Photoshop and try designing things without actually being inspired. So for example, let's say I needed to design a web form. A web form is uh, something like this where you see you see here you know your name, address, phone and, and has a submit button at the bottom. Now, when I design a form like this, it's really hard to start in with a blank canvas. Like open up Photoshop or Fireworks and start from here and start designing. So for example, if I try to design a web form, it might look something like this if I was if I was to start. Let's see. Um, let's do name. You know, um, might look like that. okay and so forth I might I may add more things there now I can make this you know I can line this up and make it a little prettier but when you start to look at this if you see it right off the bat it's very flat it's very uninspired um, and this is because starting with a blank canvas is really hard for me personally to be creative and come up with any sort of creative elements without first being inspired so basically what I like to do is is go to a site let me show you this website called patterntap.com okay patterntap.com is a site with with a bunch of different UI collections so for example if you see here you have a bunch of collections of forms you have contact pages you have web application layouts footers sliders navigation bars uh, thumbnail layouts comment layouts list e-commerce layouts sub navigation layouts it's and it goes on and on they have like 45 different collections here and you can come to this website patterntap.com and just click on collections and you'll see all of the different collections you know you have headers so you click on that and you will get different um, examples of, of headers you know collections of different um, UI elements okay so for this example in this video let's just say I want to design a web form something like what I was starting here and I need to design a form what I could do is go over to pattern tap and you see right over here where it says forms if I click into this, now it gives me a collection of you know over 416 different image snapshots of different forms that are out there on the web. Okay, so I can go through this and sort of browse and see what different elements see. Like this is a nice form layout that I could use. Um, you know, this one's nice. Let's look at that. This is from Twitter this is cool so for example let's say I wanted to to use something like this I can just copy that image I can come over here 
into uh, my, you know, drop that into fireworks. And instead of something looking like this, I can create something that looks sort of like what this looks like on Twitter. All right, let me just start over here and give you an example. I can just do something like this. So I'll do the form like that. I notice that there's a little drop shadow here. If I zoom in, there's a little drop shadow at the top. So I can just do something like inner shadow. Let's do 2, 45. lower that a little bit okay I can also make my page gray alright so you already see just by being inspired by this little this little snapshot my site or my web form is already starting to look a little better so now instead of using like times roman font here I'm gonna go with like an aerial font similar to that and I'm gonna make it gray alright so you see that I can just do now I can do name company address email etc alright and then also I can uh, being inspired by that I can come down here and just do a button similar to what I see there let me see let's do a different color button let's do orange get rid of this submit make that bold and we're gonna make that white now if I wanted to get an idea of different buttons what I can do is go back over to pattern tap go under collections here and you see I can click on buttons and what I'll find is a bunch of different uh, snapshots of different button ideas as well. All right, so again, if I wanted to, for every little component, every little component on my design, I could, or in, on a web page or, or a web application or any type of widget, I can come over to Pattern Tap and look at different collections and find inspiration from those different sections. So as you see here, I could continue to build this out and I'm going to show you a completed form that I just did prior to to starting the video. I did something like this. Okay, and basically doing the same concept that I just did here. I just moved that over and added some text at the top and added a little image here. Let's say this was a a form to download a brochure for this BMW car okay now the finished product looks nothing like the um, the the Twitter form it looks similar it's inspired by that but it's it's a little different the colors are different the buttons different but the concept is basically the same it has the same look and feel and uh, you know I can end up using it for my site and so when I design different elements like this on a website or um, you know I'm, when I'm building a web application I need to be inspired by something with you know first and foremost without actually designing this strictly from scratch okay so I would advise you to do the same don't try to do things strictly from scratch um, you know go ahead and uh, be inspired and pull elements from 
uh, site like this called Pattern Tap. All right, and the other thing is, let's say I wanted to, this was this was my website, and I wanted to design a footer. Um, obviously, I don't have a clue at this point what what my footer should look like, or what I might want it to look like. But I can go over here to Pattern Tap, and um, I can click on the footers here, and you see I have over 85 different snapshot images of footers. So if I click on this first one here, you see this is a clean layout for what a footer could possibly look like. So what I could do, I could take this idea, right click, copy image, bring it over here, and I could end up designing a similar looking layout. You know, I could I could add more uh, more room to my canvas here and design um, design a footer that looks just like this or something similar using uh, my consistent style base and at the end of my design it'll look something it'll just look it'll be a consistent layout like this but it'll be different it'll be consistent with my own style so my my advice my what I'm trying to get across in this video is to when you're designing elements on a website um, never start doing things on your own um, uh, straight out with you know starting from a blank canvas I would advise you to be inspired first go to a site go to the site patterntap.com and browse the different collections of different uh, elements before you start working on that particular element and then you would um, I, I, I'm sure you would be able to come up with something a little bit more inspired than than what you can come up with on your own alright so uh, hopefully this tip was helpful you kinda got what I'm trying to uh, convey um, and uh, maybe you can use this in your own work Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.